this year, I decided to take a much needed vacation and I asked my cousin from Tampa to meet me in Miami at the Fontainebleau for a few days of sunshine and relaxation. Also, this garlic shrimp with potatoes, olives, artichokes, octopus, and sourdough was so bomb. Hi. Hi. Okay, we finally made it to Miami. Okay, I'm gonna take this mask off. We just ate, we had drinks. Drinks were nice. amazing. And strong, very strong. <laughs> yeah, now we're assembling back to our room to get dressed for the beach. Beach and maybe more drinks and a little water to make sure we're hydrated. A lot of water. A lot of water. It's beautiful out here. Hey, bye. We almost didn't go out for dinner because I wasn't feeling well, but I'm so glad we did because the food was incredible. The dim sum was delicious and filling, and we actually took our entrees to go. It tasted even better a few days later. I went for a walk this morning on the boardwalk. So nice. Now we're about to go to brunch. I'm wearing these earrings and I do not normally wear bold, colorful earrings, but I do own a lot of them. I'm also wearing this bikini that I got from Anthropology. Yes. Bye. The service at Morgan's was great. After brunch, we went to Target for bottled water because it cost so much at the hotel. And then we headed back to the pool. It's kind of chilly, a little too chilly to be in the water. However, I was not going to pass up the opportunity to get into a pool. This is as close as I come to swimming. <laughs> you float so graciously though. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we went to the beach, which was also chilly. I think it was in the low 70s and it was late afternoon and overcast. We tried getting some cute pics of each other emerging from the waves, but the wind and the overcast skies just wouldn't let us be great. Can you imagine how hard it is to create a sex walking out? Like content creators. I have a new level of respect for them. It has to take like 14 times. <laughs> okay, so in the middle of me trying to get her shot, this guy approaches Talisa. <laughs> You're sexy. <laughs> Something about a man in Speedos. <laughs> So tell the camera what happened. <laughs> right after my sexy walk out the, the water, right? That must have did it for him, right? <laughs> a man who just came back from Europe comes up and starts talking to me and Regina. But mainly you. <laughs> but mainly me. He's asking a slow question. He was giving me Jeepers Creepers vibes. And he kept the questions going. I think I said it was nice to meet you. Enjoy your vacation about, about five, five. Five, five. <laughs> And he didn't quit until the dinner invitation came. And I am single. But when in doubt, you have a kid and a boyfriend. And I actually do have a kid, just not the boyfriend. <laughs> I'm in tears. <laughs> How awkward. No more sexy walks. <laughs> the pools and the sauna for a little bit. Now we're about to just shower and get dressed for dinner. Oh my gosh, the sunsets from our balcony were literally the most beautiful thing. We walked two miles on the boardwalk to Biblos, so we definitely earned our meal. And oh, what a meal it was. Everything was really good. I'm still thinking about the Brussels sprouts and fried halloumi. So good. We decided to call it a night and Uber back to the hotel. And to our surprise, 
We got a cash cab. Well, not quite. But this cab did have a trivia game and karaoke. You don't believe in stories. You know that they're all lies. Do y'all remember this song? Like the video if you do. And leave a comment with your favorite karaoke song from the 2000s. It sucks that Talitha had to leave the next morning. We were having so much fun. So far I'm having like a really chill, relaxed, good day. I went for a walk this morning. Now I'm about to head out to eat something because I haven't eaten all day. All right, so I just ate lunch at La Cote and I had the crab cake um, sandwich with onion rings and it was all right. I guess I'm just not really a crab cake girl. But yeah, I wanted to go to the beach afterward and uh, it's cold, like <laughs> it's cold. I wanted to get gelato after the beach, but I just don't know if, um, you know what? Maybe I'll go to the spa instead of going to the beach because at least the spa has heated pools and um, I can go to the beach tomorrow morning before I leave. Um, and it'll be, it'll be warm in the morning, like the sun will be out, so. That sounds like a good plan, actually. I think I'll do that. Okay, good chat. <laughs> Since I'm single, I'm usually pretty sad that I spend my birthday alone. So I love that my cousin joined me for a couple of days before. We had the best time. I still hate dining alone, but other than that, I enjoyed my time to myself. I went to the spa, which was so calming. They have this eucalyptus steam room, which was unbelievable. And I really wish I could have tried the rain room, which is a room full of rain showers, but I didn't have the right hairstyle, so maybe next time. After the spa, it was time to meet up with my friend and get ready for dinner at Chaconi's. enthusiastic about going. I thought it was gonna be too fancy. Yeah, the place that I really wanted to go, they're closed for like renovations or something like that. But I'm so happy that it worked out that way because it was beautiful, like really beautiful and just perfect. Like um, the service was incredible. Like everyone was so nice. The food was good and the waitress, she was so cute and nice, and she came out and she sang happy birthday. I'm back in my room. I'm about to pack, 
so that tomorrow morning I don't have to worry about that. I can just go for my walk and go to the beach and hopefully check out a little bit late. So let me get to packing and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. <music> a.m. and I'm about to take a walk on the beach. No one's out yet, so it's, it's nice um, to have the beach to yourself. You know? Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. This was my last day at the beach, so I really wanted to savor it with a long walk early in the morning before the crowd. Something about the sound of the waves and the sand between your toes is just so rejuvenating. I wish I could have had more time at the beach, but at least I got to spend Thanksgiving with my friend. I would definitely go back to the Fontainebleau. It has lots of restaurants, pools, a spa, gym, not to mention Club Lib, which was closed during my stay. It seems perfect for couples and families. And for the most part, the staff was so nice. I usually stay at Airbnbs when I travel, so this was really new for me to stay at a like resort hotel, but I really enjoyed my stay here. Several blogs mentioned that this place had an amazing chicken sandwich, and I had every intention of ordering it. But when I saw biscuits on the menu, I just couldn't help myself. I'm so excited for these biscuits because they actually look like homemade biscuits. You know, it's hard to come by. Wrong decision. The biscuits were not good. I'm trying to love them, but I really wish I had gotten that chicken sandwich. So this is the first time I've had some grits that um, I've never needed to like, like, oh, can you give me some salt? It's pretty good. How is the fish? The fish is busting. Too much lemon on it. And the chicken, I like the whatever type of seasoning they got going on, the spice. It's pretty good too. Walls, which is basically an outdoor graffiti and street art museum. I'm obsessed with street art, so I really loved it. There was so 
much to see, and there were even a few artists at work. They do have a few indoor galleries as well. On this particular day, they actually let visitors tag a wall. It wasn't as hard as I thought, but it was still pretty challenging, especially because it was so windy. It was still really fun though. I'm going back to New York tonight. <laughs> I was sad to leave, but that's always a good sign when you're traveling and you don't want to leave versus you're ready to go. I had such a nice time in Miami, and I can't wait to go back.